So let's talk about the, the maps, more specifically how to change maps to Google Maps in an iPhone and changing it is kind of complicated to be honest because oh, of course every iPhone is pre-installed with the Apple Maps app but a lot of people would want to switch to Google Maps app so naturally the very first thing you gotta do is to actually go ahead and install the Google Maps application which is kind of obvious but you need to uh, have uh, that. Then what I would advise you to do is to delete the Apple Maps because of course if you don't want to use it then chances are that you actually don't even want to have it on your home screen so of course go ahead and delete it because right now we all have the option to like not only remove it from the home screen but also delete it altogether even though it's an Apple's app. If this used to not be the case in the past, you couldn't just delete Apple's app. Right now on my other iPhone, and let me show you that if I go ahead and show you that I don't have any other maps, I only have Google Maps and like a random other version, but I don't have the Apple Maps app. And right now if I invoke Siri and, and tell her to like navigate me to something, so navigate me to the nearest gas station you can still see that it uses uh, apple maps and it doesn't use google maps at all so that is kind of weird and it's not really useful at all and you can see if i try to get to get the navigation to work it tells me to actually go ahead and install the apple maps from the app store even though i have google maps installed so it doesn't work that way it, like removing the uh, apple's map only like slows it down but it's not like gonna replace it and Although you can change the default versions of some apps, for example, the web browser or the mail app. You can choose, for example, the Gmail to be uh, like the default application because you can see the default mail app can be chosen here, but you cannot do it for the Maps apps. For one reason or another, it simply doesn't work. However, you can do it in different places. I know it's kind of limited, but for example, let me go to my Gmail and right now in my Gmails, you can go to the uh, settings and here in the settings, you have a couple of different things and one of them are the default apps. And here you have the option to choose, for example, here's the Google browser, it uses like the default iOS settings, but you can also choose it from the Apple Maps to Google Maps to navigate from your location. So in case you have any uh, things like any locations or addresses in your Gmail app and uh, tapping on them can invoke Google Maps automatically instead of Apple Maps. Same thing, navigating between uh, locations, choose it to Google Maps. So uh, this is how you can do it. And it's not, of course, it's not something that you probably expected, but I can only show you what Apple allows us to do and what is currently possible so i kind of thought that some third-party apps like gmail can have these settings here which you can kind of customize so here at least in the email app you can choose it you can choose it to be google maps instead of apple maps but within ios as of right now in ios 16.3.1 it's not available to choose the default version of the google maps instead of the uh, uh, apple maps even though you remove it, the app you like delete it altogether it's still gonna like try to invoke it it's still gonna use it and try to use it as the default app so you now can only just uh, go and open up the google maps right away and use it like just from there not even try to like get the get it to be a, like the default option so this is just how it works hope the video helped you out i really do hope that you found it kind of at least that one tip to be uh really useful for more tutorials make sure to subscribe to fox deck and also check out the next video right here thanks a lot for watching see you guys later in the future